OK, Matt, uh, your thoughts, first of all, on this um, this loan move to Hereford. Obviously, it's going to get you some essential match practice. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, the call came in that I could come here on loan and, uh, yeah, you know, jumped at the chance. I want to come play some games. That's what I need. I need to get some football and hopefully we can, uh, you know, work for both of us. You know, I can do well for Hereford and help me get sharp. What stage are you at with your sort of recovery from injury? Because you've had a really tough time, haven't you? So how are you feeling physically and mentally now? No, I'm feeling good. Um, so this is the final bit I need now, it's just to go out and play some first-team football. I've um, been training all the time, been you know training hard. I've been probably training for the last couple of months now. Played a few reserve games, so now it's first-team football is what I need. How frustrating has it been for you to sort of sit on the sidelines and watch Wolves as they've had you know, a pretty good start to the season and presumably you just want to get out there between the sticks? Yeah, I mean, obviously you're always desperate to be involved. Um, I'm really, really pleased for the lads and for the team and for Carl and Wayne. Who've, you know, they're, they're both doing really, really well. Um, but, you know, obviously I want to be part of it. But so this is hopefully, uh, you know, a stepping stone to getting there. What do you think it is about Wolves, first of all, that's given them such a good start to the season and put them in such a promising position? Um, I think every, you know, everyone seems to be on it right the way through, from the goalkeepers through the centre forwards. Everyone's doing their job well, and um, you, you know, everyone's been performing to the best of their ability, which is what you need if you're going for promotion push. And we've been scoring plenty of goals, and uh, you know, the last game was a clean sheet, and that's so, all. Yeah, we've been playing well and been really consistent. Here at Hereford, obviously, it's a, a bit of a different story. I'm sure you're aware that they're struggling, to be fair, at the bottom of, of League One. What do you hope that you can bring to the team that might help pick them up of, out of that? Well, I mean, I just want to come in and just give my, give my best. Obviously, um, you know, the lads have, uh, by the looks of the results, you know, been, a lot of them have been close sort of games and that. So I just want to come in and say, I've got, I think there's four games that I can play in. So I want to try and play all of those and do well and hopefully we'll win as many games as possible. And I just want to do my part. But, you know, I'm sure the lads will be... Uh, just as determined as I am to uh, try and push up the league. I know you haven't been here very long, very long, but have you had a good welcome so far? Yeah, the lads have been really friendly and all the staff and that, and uh, so I just can't wait now to get training with the boys and, and uh, get to know everybody and looking forward to Saturday's game. And Saturday against Cheltenham, this is my last question, I promise. Obviously, it's a, it's a bottom of the table. Everyone's talking about it as being a possible six-pointer, so it's a big one, so the atmosphere hopefully should be a good one and, and there'll be a real team spirit. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, Cheltenham are local as well, so it'll be, uh, hopefully there'll be a few there. And, you know, talking about six points already this stage of the season, but, you know, obviously they're only a few points ahead of us, so if we can, we can win, we go above them. So they'll be up for it, we'll be up for it, and fingers crossed it'll be a good game, and hopefully Hereford will come out on top. Graham, if you don't mind, tell me, or can you expand a bit more on, on what happened with Mr Randolph, your previous on-loan goalkeeper, because there was a bit of a set two, shall we say? Well, I think it was just a matter of he'd heard a rumour that we were interested in Matt Murray last week and refused to play last Saturday. It was, it was as simple as that, so that's the end of the story. He's gone back to Charlton. He's gone back and he won't feature for Hereford again? I would doubt it very much. I'm told, and I, I know you've had probably a couple of days to calm down now, I'm told you were absolutely spitting feathers about it. Well, I think it's one of those situations. I've never experienced it before where a player has, has point blank refused to play, but that is over and done with. Darren chose the, the avenue he wanted to go down with. Uh, at that stage, it was purely speculation about another goalkeeper coming in. Uh, as it's happened, we've, we've got Matt Murray in on board with us and uh, we're delighted with that. So whatever's happened with the previous goalkeeper, that's over and done with. And obviously soon to move on and you've got um, a great pair of hands hopefully in Matt Murray he's he's tipped for future England success you must be delighted to have him here with you now well first of all he is a very good goalkeeper and several seasons ago I think he was very close to getting into the England squad and uh, you know I can remember playing for Wolves in the playoff final it was absolutely outstanding immense in in the, in the goals and uh, I've always had his fair share of injuries since then. We're delighted to have somebody of his stature in the game, not only his physical presence on the pitch, but his reputation, his ability and everything else. And we're bottom of the league at the moment, and sometimes you need a little bit of a lift for the players, and as well as me and, and the coach. So um, to get somebody in the calibre of Matt Murray, we are absolutely delighted, and we just hope he does a good job for us and he gets himself match fit and comes into contention in the end at Wolves. And obviously starting hopefully against Cheltenham this coming Saturday, which is going to be a huge match for you because it, it, people are already talking about, about it being a relegation six-pointer. So it, it, it could be you know, a very important move. Well, they're all important games at the moment, that's, that's obvious. Um, six-pointers at this and relegation battles, there's a lot of football to be played. I feel that we can get better. We've not had the best of luck in front of the goal, so sooner or later that will change. And uh, But it is a big game for, for us on Saturday. And uh, as I say, it's even more important to have a new face in the side when things are going wrong, just to give everybody that little bit of a fillip.
Apart from the goalkeeper that's now made a swift exit, how have the rest of the squad reacted to the news that, that Matt's coming into the squad here? Well, I would think they'd be delighted. I mean, a few weeks ago, we brought in a boy, Bruno Ingotti from Leicester, who'd played at AC Milan and uh, Paris and Germain, places like that. And it does the, the other players the world of good to see quality players of that calibre coming into the club. And the same applies with Matt, you know. His reputation goes before him and I'm sure that particularly the players who have got to play in front of him, the defenders in, in front of him, will be delighted to have somebody in between the sticks. Obviously you've got history at Wolves as well. Is that is that helped to sort of make the move happen or were you were you just looking everywhere as it was? No, I wasn't particularly looking for a goalkeeper. It came out of the blue. The offer was there. Um, he was actually a schoolboy uh, player there when when uh, I was at the club. So he, he was part of the, of the setup then and uh, uh, it obviously helps to have a, a connection with the club. But uh, I think Mick McCarthy and the goalkeeping coach there, Pat Mountain, both felt it would do him a world of good to come here. Knew the way we worked, knew that we went about things professionally, so had no qualms about letting him come to us. And just finally, Graham, how are you as a manager finding life in League One? It, I mean, it, you've had a brilliant couple of seasons, promotions, etc., all the excitement, but the reality is that it's, it's pretty tough going. Well, it is. Our league position suggests that we found it tough, and, and that's obvious. But we are not as bad as our position suggests. We've performed reasonably well in most of the games we've played this season and been very close. And I believe sooner or later, a little bit of luck, we'll, we'll get the rub of the green somewhere. Uh, we can improve as a team. The fact that we're bringing in players, the quality of, of, of Matt Murray, or albeit on a short-term loan, uh, obviously helps things. And I am very confident we will get out of trouble.